Hi, we are now on our way to the Great Wall of China. It's so exciting. Um, I'm still waking up, guys. Sorry, I'm not enthusiastic. Yeah, it's like 6.50 in the morning because we had to get up really early to get our bus to go. So we're kind of sitting on like a, a bus thing. You can see the background. Um, and I think it's like an hour and a half to the Great Wall. And then, actually we're not going to the Great Wall first. We're going to the Ming tombs first, I think. And then we're going to a lunch and then we're going to the Great Wall and then we're going to a tea ceremony or something like that. So, it's exciting. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Hello, we are now at the Ming tombs, right? Yes. That's what it's called? Yes. Um, there are these tombs outside of Beijing that somebody from the Ming Dynasty. There are 16 emperors and 13 of those emperors are buried here. The first emperor of that and dynasty was not... <laughs> our tour guys looking at us like are crazy. <laughs> um, the first emperor of the Ming Dynasty was born, <laughs> was buried in Nanjing and then the second one disappeared and then there is another... Meet our friends, sorry. Ah. <laughs> There is another emperor who returned to the power and then got buried here as a prince. Period. There. Thank you. There. That's I the know, explanation. She was like, another emperor. Another emperor. So there are thirteen buried here and one prince, and then all of like the empresses and concubines. So yeah. So we are going to a place that is excavated. I've been designated as the flag bearer. See, I have the flag, <laughs> and I have to walk to the thing. Our tour guide decided that I get to have the flag. I don't know why. Because People she's are teacher's pet. I'm apparently teacher's pet. Anyway, so I'm the flag bearer. A it's awesome. And also, just like a gate of the Forbidden City, but this gate here is destroyed. During the war between me and Qing Dynasty, the destruction of this uh, gate is because of a, a superstitious thinking. They built this gate with no wall surrounding this place. But they said the copy must be carried through this gate. The copy was carried from the Forbidden City on the shoulders of the soldiers here. You can think about the distance. And later you will see that big copy. It's a duplicate, but it's a still the size. It's a very big one. God damn, this is bigger than my room, I'm telling you. And that, this copy would be carried through this gate here to the real tomb back there. So, Remember, all the emperors, they built their tombs while they're still alive because they want everything to be exactly what they wanted. Uh, even now, some people, especially this, uh, our local people, domestic travelers, they come to this gate, they have to say something to get out. Say, it means I'm back. Back from another realm to reality. Okay, this is the Edinburgh Palace left chamber. All together, they are front and back, left and right and center. Five of these chambers. And this is the left one. This chamber should be a coffee bed like this with a coffee on it, but it was empty when they actually put in this place. The answer is that when the Empress, when the Empress died and they wanted to put the coffee inside here, it was raining. So the back gate. The back door we uh, walk through here cannot be open. They could open only the front gate. They opened the front gate, got a copy in, and uh, put a copy in the rear chamber. When it's moving into this chamber, the door over there is too small for it. The copy is too big. So the copy stays back. This place was left empty. There's no one's nobody already. Because the time they finished this tomb and the emperor died is 1598. So quite a long time ago. Now this bigger one we build with oil. We're walking up a hill up to get to the Great Wall. It's so exciting! The Great Wall is there in the distance. You can't really see it. It's small, but it's there. Alright guys. There is the Great Wall. There is the wall right there and the guard tower. So exciting! That's the entrance to walk up to the thing. We are not doing that. It's challenging just walking up this little hill. Well, not challenging, but like with the smoke and stuff, it's hard to breathe from the smog. Um, so we are taking the cable car, which is up there.
take the cable car to go to the highest point of this section of the Great Wall. <laughs> Going up the cable car! So exciting here, Jen. Come on. There's the Great Wall right there! So exciting! There is the Great Wall! We finally arrived! It's so exciting! Moo, what is it? Moo Chen. Moo Chen Yu. Great wall. Yeah. It's really hard to see because of the smog, but it's right there. The Great Wall is right there. Entrance. Going into the Great Wall. Really, really steep steps. Into the Great Wall. And I am standing on the Great Wall. It's so exciting. <laughs> We are officially on the Great Wall. There it is. The guard tower right there. The guard tower right there. On one side, you can't really see, but there's some more down there. And then, you can just see how bad the smoke is, the smog, but. There's that. And then on this side, just some more mountains and right there, some more of the Great Wall. So the section that we're at is called Muta, Mutin U or something. I actually have no idea what it's called. Um, but there are two main sections that people go to. This one and battling. And battling yesterday was packed with people like you couldn't even walk anywhere whereas this one like if you can see there's lots of empty space um so it's definitely not as crowded and it looks beautiful just like the regular like it looks like any pictures that you see of the great wall um so recommendations for anyone that wants to come next time i would go to this one it starts with an m m u t something 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 um it is less crowded than the battling one. The battling one is closer to Beijing, um, whereas this one took us about an hour and a half to get here, so it's farther away from Beijing, but um, nicer to come to. So right here is a watchtower. We're going to go in and see it. Um, there's Jen. Hey, Jen. Hi. I'm showing them the watchtower. We're in the number 14 watchtower. Number 14 watchtower. So it has lots of windows. And in ancient China, people guards would be stationed here to look out to see if enemies were coming. See, so there's. So you can see the rest of the wall there, kind of. Look at this way. And then from this way, it's the same thing. So they would stand out here and look to see if anyone um, was coming. The Great Wall, still a Great Wall. There's a really long section up there, but I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. We'll see. We have about 17 more minutes before we need to make our way back to the cable car, so we're going to try and walk as far as we can on the Great Wall. I say that word every time. We're going to try and make it as far as we can on the Great Wall. Look, we found a spot that has no people. Oh, there's a person. Find a little section all by yourself. So randomly, we're just about to go back to the cable car, and if you can hear that song that's playing, it's River Flows In You um, by Yuruma, and it's like one of my all-time favorite songs. Uh, that's a, like an instrumental song. He, Yuruma, Y-I-R-U-M-A, is a Korean pianist, and he is my absolute favorite pianist, and it was just like providence that this song plays right before we were about to go back to the cable car. So I, I'm really happy now. It's very exciting.